Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My husband Kelvin is home from work tonight. So it's almost four o'clock here no. now. And we usually get our daughter Harper from daycare about four o'clock. And this little guy just woke up from his nap. Kelvin is just out the front. We were snipping the front lawn. So back to work tomorrow. So this is his sort of last um, day off. Oh, and sorry, tomorrow is his last day off. He goes back Saturday. Just got the dinner on. Um, I'm just doing this tropical chicken. I've sort of shared it on my Instagram before. It's really quite simple. I'll leave the link to the recipe down in the description box below for anyone that wants to give that one a go. But it says like a whole chicken um, and I just use uh, drumsticks. So yeah, really quite an easy one. So I'm getting that here in the oven, just less that I have to do when I guess Harper gets home. So we can just sort of be with her and yeah. Ryder has really started to want to roll over all the time now, which makes it difficult to put his nappy on. Hey, you think you get a smile? And that's a pretty bad job. But these are a size two nappy, and I think he's gonna need the size three. He's really quite chubby. When he got weighed the other day, he was six, oh, six point something kilos. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, he is really quite a little, little chunker. He's definitely the biggest now, at, like at this age. But then Bentley and Harper was not so chubby, but it's just so cute. I just love it. I, I just love it. I just love it. And while we're in here, in Ryder's room, he's still currently sleeping in our bed in his bassinet but Kelvin picked up this cot here from Big W yesterday we're just waiting for the mattress to come in that I ordered from Babies R Us so yeah when he gets his mattress he'll probably start having day naps in here just introducing him into his room slowly that's sort of what I did with Harper um yeah so we'll just see how that goes so that's very exciting but yes you're all changed, nappy changed. It's been really hot here and he's always really hot. So a lot of the times during the day, if he hasn't got a singlet on, he's just, just wearing just a nappy. Are you looking out the window? Are you looking out the window? So he, yeah, today it's sort of seemed like he went from his back, out on the mat, went from his back, rolled onto his um, belly. And it's like he was trying to get up on his knees. So, yeah, and I mean, he's coming up to five months on the 23rd of December, this month. I don't know if you're blind here. Okay. Yeah, what's that? Cookie. Cookie? That's gingerbread man. Is that gingerbread man? Uh, that's gingerbread soap. That's gingerbread man soap. You want to wash your hands with it? Go down. Go to that Let's try the soap. <laughs> Watch your hands first. Don't wet them. Gotta pop a few times. You can wet your hands. Rub them all together on the tops. All around. Now what looks like? Mum gets hungry. Mum try some. Does it smell pretty? Mmm. Smells like cookies. Does it smell like cookies? So you go rub on top, rub on the backs of your hands. Rub, 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 rub. Rub, rub, rub. I I think that's good. You gotta be careful. Look at that, Molly. Are you not here? I picked this up today from Best and Let for only $5. I just no. thought it was really no, no, cute. No, 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 What? No, I think no. you've used enough now. Your hands are very clean. Washing hands is always fun. Okay. <laughs> That's heaps, Smith. You've done really well. 
We'll wash that off and we'll dry. We'll dry. Good girl. No. What's it look like? Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. Did you see? Papa, did you see the wall? Do you like it? Yeah, Colvin put this up for me today. So there's a few new I'll things here. Dad. No, Dad's out there. I'm just telling them Ooh. about the wall art here. Yeah, it's sort of like a little sticker, a vinyl sticker. Um, I got it from Jack and Hyde. I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. Uh, I think it just looks really, really good. It was, well, I mean, Colvin put it on because he's good with those sort of things. But yeah, it seemed easy enough to put on for him. But yeah, I just think it just really changes the whole look and feel of this pirate. So yeah, and like even Colvin said, it sort of seems feels bigger. So that's nice. Like the pirate? My area. Your area. Have you done a poop? No. No. I just need a minute to find out what I'm feeling cause I'm about to go nuts. And my team is trying to say he was up. I'll be waiting for this my whole life. Wanna do it again three foot times. Cause it's better than Make a hug. Here we go. Oh, 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 numbers or shapes I should know that um, lately at daycare and I can tell she's you know besides John stuff at home here with her I can tell she's yeah like really picking up on probably three colors that she knows straight up so that's um, yeah really good exciting who you got there who you got there Mimi. Mimi. Mimi Mouse. Wee! You're laying down with Ryder. I don't know how to roll the Huh? The roly poly. Oh, you used to, hey? Too cute. Too cute. Cutie muffins. Did you miss Ryder today? Did you miss him? Yes, I miss Ryder. Oh. Ryder next year will be at school with you. Okay, I'll do it. Please, Mum. Please, Mum. She's getting really good at colouring lately. Like, really enjoying it. Aren't you? Papa requested a cucumber. What did you want? A cucumber? Mm. But we're all out of cucumber, so she's having a carrot for her snack. Do you want to go out there? Dad's got to put the outdoor setting back up here. Mm. We cleaned up. Hey? Yeah, I picked this up also from Best and Less today. We did when we went there. Um, so cute for Ryder, obviously. Ryder's little Christmas outfit. And I just picked up these earrings for me for Christmas. 
And more chips. And more chips. Chirp, chirp. Are you chirp chirping the other night? Chirp, chirp. Little sister, that's, that's your little brother. Oh, I think he's, I think he may be getting upset. Are you getting upset, buddy? I think he wants to get out. Thank you. 
it's okay. You can take them all. This one. So these are just the vitamins we give Papa at the moment. She'll have all these three. And I found she's been pretty good. That well, hasn't been getting sick or anything. Like she sort of was a lot quite frequently. So I don't know if it has anything to do with these or not, but she takes these pretty easily. This one she's a bit funny with, but I actually tried one and they're quite nice. But she really likes this one. So I've just got Ryder dressed for the day. We'll see how long it lasts, this outfit. Um, Corbin's just taken Harper to daycare, as you see. And I think he might be getting ready for me and him woke up about quarter to seven. Corbin hopped up with Harper this morning. I think it was about five o'clock that she woke up. So me and Ryder had a bit of a sleep in. So that was nice. Um, but it's 10 to 8 here now, so he's probably going to go down again now. I'll give him the rest of that bottle and then lay him down. You going to have a sleep? Yeah, he looks like he's getting a bit tired. Was just here in my office slash gym room editing some of this video just so I'm sort of more on top of it but then I saw 
a delivery guy coming and I was like oh because I'm waiting on a new coffee table and I'm so so excited for that to come um, but it wasn't the coffee table it's the mattress that I ordered on Babies Are Us website for Riders Cot so and like I said at the start of this video yesterday that Ryder will start to sort of sleep in his cot in his bed for his day naps um just to sort of get him used to his his own room that's what we did with harper so i'm going to open it up and have a look and put it on his bed and then i can put his cot sheet on so yeah this is the one i just got this breathe easy mattress um babyhood brand so i think it was about 120 which my beautiful mother transferred me money into my account um to get this for Ryder because she's just so beautiful and generous like that the best mum um anyway thanks very much mum so yeah let's go put this on his cot and i can put his sheet on and yeah, let's have a look how it looks. So there's the cot and the mattress and the sheet. It looks so good. And this lovely blanket here, I got this for Ryder from, um, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Kin. Yeah, I just really love the rainbow and the colours on it as well. I just think it goes really good in his room. I did start off wanting the olive sort of colour for Ryder, but I really just like this sort of colours now and the decals on the wall. It all just goes so good. That's from Kin as well. That was rather quite expensive, but I just love it. So yeah, really happy with this now. So now he can have day naps in here, but I've still got the chair to feed him in our room because he'll probably still stay in our room for the night. But yeah. So we've been back from grocery shopping. It was a rather expensive shop. I think it was like three hundred and eight eighty. I can't be sure exactly. I'll have a look at the receipt. Three hundred and eighty-two. So that is quite a big shop, but it feels like we got a lot, and I needed things like. The nappy sand, that's about $16. Coffee, coconut oil, olive oil. Yeah, so things like that that you don't have to buy every week. But, and then was some things we couldn't get there. Um, so Colburn's gone down to Woolies to pick those um, bits and pieces up, like Harper's nappies, the size six 
they only had nappy pants and she still wears normal sort of nappies and she will wear the odd nappy pant but yeah um so yeah thankfully that's done out of the way groceries is such a pain i really like that click and collect i did last grocery shop but yeah there were some things you know like the baby spinach that i get the bag that i received probably wouldn't be the bag of spinach that i would pick up so just little things like that but it is like really good and saves so much time um it's just sitting down and you know adding it to your cart sort of thing on the coles website but yeah i think i think it is a really good um a really good service like a really good thing especially if you got kids like i just drove up um rider up last week when i did that click and collect and he just obviously stayed in the car and i sat in the car and yeah so it's really convenient like that but just certain things that you want to pick out yourself um like the strawberries i ordered strawberries and they were like five huge strawberries whereas i'd probably get like a punnet with you know a few big ones a few little ones that sort of thing so just things like that but anyway here now i'm just going to wash up some of the fruits that i got um i just use and i rather like this just koala eco um i just picked this up sort of from my like a little fruit market fruit fruit shop that we have up here near our supermarket i think it was like 12 dollars so yeah i like that one yeah so i just put like a squirt of that in the sink with some cold water to wash the fruit and veggies i don't know i've got grapes this week and just yeah strawberries because i don't like to wash my blueberries because i find that they go like soggy so i just give them um a wash before i'm gonna serve them to harper or eat them whatever but yeah, so we're going to get done here doing that too. I've got the mitt here now that I showed also over on my Instagram that I got from Coles, um, from Best and Less for only $8. So with Harper, we picked up one of these from Coles. It was like $20, looked really quite similar. So I thought we'll give this a go on Ryder and see how he takes to it. Harper was a bit, you know, didn't overly use it that much, but I thought Ryder could be different and he could really like it for $8. I thought it's worth a try. So I washed it up yesterday and I'm going to put it on him and see because as you can see he's really got his hands constantly in his mouth so you might like this are you gonna give this a try yeah. are you gonna give this a try let's move this over here and sit you up here on the lounge yeah. you're in the big lounge you're in the big lounge so it's just sort of i'm sure you have seen this these sorts of things before these teething mitts if you have um kids but yeah it's just sort of like a velcro strap Sit up there, buddy. velcro strap that you can undo it and put their hand in there which teeth are we gonna do? you just had this one in there didn't you you just had this you're on shore you on shore what it is what is it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I think I need to take it down a little bit on his hand, but I don't know if it sort of might annoy them as well. Like, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've noticed like the last few um nights he's been still waking twice but like last night was 11 30 and then it was was it 4 4 30 and then he went back 
um, with me till about quarter to seven. So sort of like longer times now that just been the last few nights. I sort of hope that is how he's sort of going to be, you know, from the more frequent, like every two hours, two and a half hours, which he was doing. So if he does those sort of like, I don't mind obviously him waking twice, like that's fair enough, but half hour at four months, slept through the whole night once. Ryder hasn't really quite done a whole night. He's done from like seven going down for bed, 6.37 till three. So that's sort of, yeah, and just woke, woke up once at the three and then I was thinking it was like 5.30 or something. But so that's sort of all he's done, not a whole night, but he's gonna go down here soon in a little bit. You enjoying that? Are you enjoying that? Yeah? You enjoying that? that the rattly sound, the crinkly noise? Yeah, so he's gonna go down for a nap soon here in a little bit. And I'm going to try him in his cot, seeing that's um, set up, as I showed. But yeah, for his um, nap, for his you know, day nap, as I said, I'll just um, introduce him into his bedroom slowly by putting him in the cot for his, hello, for his day naps, just like we did with Harper before putting him in a night. Now I'm not going to put him in there overnight till at least he's over the five months mark. I mean, the midwives and all recommend at least six months, but I think we're gonna try him from five months onwards. Cause you know, sometimes you might be disturbing them. Like we might be disturbing them with them in our room. I think sometimes you can as well. Um, you know, like, because he's right near the ensuite door as we're going in and out and all that. Um, you know, brushing teeth and having showers and stuff. So, you know, he might even sleep better if he's in his own room with just his sound machine on and, yeah, his door shut sort of thing. <coughs> So weird seeing him in there. This isn't the right time at all. But yeah, it seems so weird. Um, so fingers crossed he goes okay in there. He sort of slept in Harper's cot once or twice for a day nap when Corbin's been in the room sort of asleep and I can't be bothered to bring the bassinet out or, or, or that sort of thing. So I put her in, I put him in her bassinet and he's sort of been okay. But lately he started to want to sleep on his tummy. So yeah, the bassinet seems like it's annoying him a bit, like a bit small space. So he might actually prefer um, his cot now over the bassinet. So, cause like I said, Harper at this stage was in her own cot sleeping. I'm a hundred percent sure. But yeah, so we'll see how he goes. Yeah, so whilst he's napping, cause he'll, He'll eventually go off. I might just have to go in there a couple of times. I haven't actually gave him his dummy because I do like to just try. I don't like to give him the dummy so much. Harper never had a dummy. Bentley had a dummy. Um, and I know they're all different. But I really want to avoid 
the dummy if I can, but he does have it sometimes. Um, he doesn't have it, I don't really often give it to him when he wakes through the night, again, but sometimes for the day he does. I mean, he wouldn't just be in his walker with a dummy, that sort of thing, but just to help him, you know, soothe him to go off to sleep, he does. So I've got a fair bit to do before I've got to finish emptying this dishwasher. I've got Kelvin out in the shed. Well, he's out in the shed. I haven't got him out in the shed. He's out in the shed because I had this sort of timber serving board, just a round timber serving board that I've had for years from Kmart, um, from Kmart. And it was sort of a darker timber, but I want it more of a raw, like a really raw look timber. So he's out there, God bless him, sending that back for me because I want to put my tea and coffee jars on it in the corner over there so yeah i've just yeah get these ideas in my head of decor sort of things and then um yeah i have to sort of put it together so he's out doing that it's 20 past two here already it's crazy um i've been wanting to go for a ride on my bike for a while that kelvin bought me a while ago now but um yeah i just sort of like i have in my mind that i really want to go um and then sort of other things yeah just get in the way one of these days i'm definitely because oh, i've probably gone on it three times but the times that i went on it i went on it like twice on my own i was sort of around the block and it's really quite fun like you forget you know obviously because i hadn't really rode a bike since i was a kid but you forget how much fun it is riding a bike um because i usually obviously walk but yeah but anyway i really want to get in a workout because i didn't yesterday so i'm going to just run around quickly do a few things and then i really want to get in just like a 26 minute workout so it's it's not huge but makes me feel good and it's just enough for me so yeah i'll stop talking and just get into these things and then hopefully get into that room and work out so this is the board Kelvin sanded for me. I should have showed you what it was like before, but it was really dark um, timber, like um, a stain. Anyway, I wanted him to sand it back so it looked really raw. And yeah, really happy with it. Really love how it looks. But yeah, that's what it's like. He took a bit of sanding um, with the machine. But yeah, really like that. Happy with that. Well, I think Ryan has gone off now. I had to go in a couple of times. Um, and because I had him in that white sleep bag without the arms, I don't know if that, because he's used to, he's um, loved to dream one that zipped up with his arms sort of enclosed in it. So yeah, I transferred him into that one now he seems to be gone off and say on his on his tummy he's gone back up on his tummy so he seems to like to sleep like that now Well, I'm just going to end this video here and thank you all very much for watching and I really hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.